we're gonna have a bit more Xbox and chill. But Doug, you you play PlayStation, right? Not Xbox. Yeah. I do so you've got an excuse it. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're no good. And I go and get my own guns because uh, the guy who's a gun with it, he uh, doesn't he doesn't play with the same guns. So are you are you a Call of Duty player? Then is that your game? Is that the one you yeah, play yeah. the most? Yeah. I got Fall Guys as well, but I don't like it. Okay. Usually my girlfriend plays on it. Right. I don't. So you, everyone that you know plays Xbox, also plays PlayStation. So it's a bit of a you're a bit of a gamer then, or? Nah, didn't used to be, but lately I am, kind of. So when, so during like say lockdown, for example, or during the last few months, have you been trying to play a lot? Is it something that you use to sort of relax, or? Uh, during lockdown, I was still working, so okay. for me, it did, didn't make a difference. A lot of people will know what you do, but for those of you who don't know what you do for your for your job, can you explain a little bit about what your day to day is? Um, I work in the office, just uh, start 7.30 till about 4 or 5 o'clock. Work in the office doing the... Uh, what do I do? Uh, certification staff, administration, uh, employee um, staff, And what is, it, what is it that your company does? Uh, they sell aubergines. Oh, they, well, we grow aubergines. Grow aubergines and then you do all the administration, the yeah, administration yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? I've um, been doing that for, I don't know, been working there as a, when I was in school. Okay. Um, so I think I was 15 years old when I started working there, about, somewhere like that. There's a guy camping in one of those boxes. Oh, look at that. So yeah, that's what I do. And uh, when they had a, they didn't have people in the office working and he said, well, actually I want to have the administration in our office. So that we can, uh, yeah, they always let someone else, uh, a company, do all that administration stuff and they said, well, you can do it. And uh, we were speaking about DAS and they said, well, I should work for two or three days a week and I won't be doing this work because back, back then I worked as a, yeah, just the harvesting machine. So sure. I said, I won't do this if I want to play DAS. And he said, well, if you want, you can do. Uh, we may have a, a spot for you in the, in the office. So that's so how it happened. You've gone from harvesting them to doing the admin for the aubergines. Yeah, yeah. harvesting was while I was in school when I was. But I you're still out. in aubergines. Yeah. Can't be aubergines. I'm vegetarian, so I like aubergines. Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I don't eat them that often. <laughs> you probably don't want to eat them. You spend so much time here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I do love aubergines. Right, let's talk about gaming instead of aubergines for a minute. Yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, I, I play as well. It's just a nice way of, of spending some time where you don't focus on anything to do with your normal life. It's just completely yeah. different. Like even like this, is, it, it's just situations you should obviously never find yourself in, and you just can lose yourself in it a little bit. Yeah, you can. You, you stop thinking about everything in life, and you just like, yeah. That's important you though. Sometimes, eh? I'm not thinking today. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Oh, way I'm so of bad at this. Setting your mind play. But it's a bit uh, easy to get addicted to. Sometimes I need to practice more. I was going to say, as long as it doesn't play play more, affect your practice. Sometimes it does, yeah, but um, I, I always practice in work. Cause my, I, I spoke with her boss and asked him if I could... Um, practice darts or practice games? If I could practice uh, during work time, unpaid. So I said, then I always practice because at uh, some point your day is going to go very long. If you're working from, let's say, 7.30 till 5, I want to do some fitness as well. And um, you want to do fitness and then you have to practice in the evening. So your day will always be 13, 14 hours. Yeah. So I said, I want to practice during the day so I can have some time off in the evening. So he, he agreed with it and we got a great uh, dartboard and plays in uh, in my work now, so I can practice every day one and a half hour about. So that's what I think was a huge uh, change why I play better this year. Okay, and, and how have you found this year? Because obviously with everything that's gone on, you're obviously involved in the home tour, we've had all the other events as well. How, how have you found this year? Because it's obviously been strange for everyone. Boring. Really? Very boring. Uh, because I was away for 10 weekends in a row, so I was working now, was it 10? About 10. Like from the second weekend of January till, till the lockdown. 
nothing came. Um, I didn't have one day off, so I was worked Monday till Sunday. And the first weekend I had off, <laughs> the lockdown, day, lockdown came in. Oh. So that was very, uh, yeah, struggling to enjoy yourself sometimes if you only can stay home. Difficult, difficult, but for you, has it been a chance for you to Im improve your, your darts, practice a bit more, get on the board? Um, not more than I normally do. So if you if you look back at this time now, and you're being very honest with yourself, would you say you could have done more, you could have practiced more, or are you happy with how things have gone? I don't know, obviously it's been a very difficult time, but if you're being completely honest with yourself, how would you assess the last sort of six months? I should have done more during lockdown. The thing is, I need to have a goal if I practice. Yeah. And you want to practice for the next pro tours. And it was hard to set goals if you know you're not playing in the next few months or weeks, you, know, you, you just don't know. And when the summer series came in, then you've got a goal to practice for. Mm -hmm. and that's why I started practicing again. Okay. So in terms of your darts now, where, where, do you, where are you at the moment? Are you, do you feel like you're playing well? Obviously we're here at the Grand Prix and, and you've got a win under your belt. Do you feel like things are going your way at the moment or are, are you still struggling to perform? I'm a bit struggling for form. Not even form, it's more confidence that okay. you're missing because you're obviously not playing that many games. So if you play games, you don't play well, you don't gain any confidence out of it. Okay. So let's say I play well against Dimitri, it can all be back again. That's the thing with sport though, isn't it? You, like need, one, you need just one good that's win. What you're, you're always one away. One away from, it can, it can go both ways. One away from being yeah. as good as you've ever been and one win or one loss away from being as bad as you've ever been. That's, that's, that's the point of sport, isn't it? Though? That's what makes you guys the elite, the fact that you're able to cope with those changes of form. And I don't see myself as an elite. Well, in terms of the, the, the world, you, you, I mean, you're one of the top players in the world. So you're part of that group, maybe not necessarily yet part of the elite within the professionals, but that's what you're, you're aiming for, I presume. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I'm certainly not amongst the elite on this game. No, me neither, mate. Trying, though. I'm going to blow this one up. Same like when you're playing uh, football, you're always, oh, blow yourself up. You, can be a, you always think you can be a professional, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. That's it. You, you kill one yeah. person on this, or you score one goal on FIFA, and you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the best player. Yeah, no, and then you yeah, do what yeah. I do and blow yourself up. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's a good achievement as well. Well, uh, well it's we'll, hard to do that. We'll, we'll, not for me. We'll cut that out of the video, I hope. <laughs> What's the score? Oh, we're still in this. We could win this. Maybe. My, I, everything happens too quickly. I'm going to. I'm going to use the excuse that, that Michael used. He said the screen was too big. I can't see what's going on, but... Well, you, you only see the middle thing, and they all see the, the whole thing. So you don't I see don't... what's happening to your right. Oh, there they are. I'm going to try it again. Oh, that's better. Make sure we get that one on the, on the video, yeah? We get what? Not the one where I blew myself up. Oh, right, yeah. That's not what I meant. In the I don't know. <laughs> Having a look. How are you getting on that? Have you got any kills? No, I've got a few. I'm playing well though. Oh, no, I've been spotted. I don't know what that means. There he is, the guard. Look. So will you be getting one of the new generation of consoles? Will you get a PlayStation? I don't know. Maybe not in the first year. Maybe a few. I'll, I'll have to see. I've, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that I've ordered a new Xbox already. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest, I don't have a uh, PlayStation that long, and um, I'm not sure if I, if I want to do it. I'm fine with PS4 at the moment, and if not all your friends buy the PS5, why should I do it? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Is this, so for you, oh, oh, you play with your friends, right? Yeah, They're the people that you play with, yeah? But it's, it's good though, because you don't always get a chance to speak to them if you're always away in the weekend. Yeah, that's true. And now you bring your PlayStation, you still speak to them in the weekend. So that's very nice about gaming, I think. Yeah, that, I, I completely agree with that, because people sort of say, oh, it's not a very social thing to do playing on Xbox or PlayStation, but I completely it disagree. Is. I think it's really social. Yeah. You can keep is. in touch with your friends regardless of where you are on the planet, especially for 
for you guys and even even us when we travel with the darts and go to di uh, go to different places. Yeah, it is. It's nice to be able to keep in touch with people. Yeah, my brother is kind of a good friend of me, but I don't speak to him very much. And now we play together. I speak yeah, yeah. more often than I ever did. Yeah, that, uh, since I left home. You, you, it's easy to to make friends with people. I, I completely agree with you in that it's an opportunity to socialise, take yourself away from the stresses of. Of, of life, whether that be work yeah. or, or anything else, so why yeah. not? When I was 16 I moved over like 200 kilometers from my father's work. So but I still got in touch and there's still good friends of me over there. Right. But it's 200 kilometers and definitely if I'm playing darts I can't go there every, every now and yeah. then. Today ah. I can speak a lot with them through PlayStation without being there. Well, I can ring them but you don't do that. Now you're just playing the evening with your best friends who live 200 kilometers meters away from you. It's true. So yeah. we, we lost the game. Who yeah. got the most kills? I imagine it was probably you. I don't want to see how many times I died. Let's have a look at this. Where are you? Oh, oh wow. You did quite well. You got 11 kills, I got five. To be honest, I'm quite happy with five. That's good though. I'm not disappointed with five. It's the amount of times that I died. But anyway, look, thank you for playing with us. I know it's all a bit different and the, the world is still going through some difficult times and we're having to play darts behind closed doors, but it's nice sometimes just to sit down and relax. So thanks yep. a lot, mate.